up guys team be lab in a building bringing you a very very special review today guys no word of a lie we have this product by nissin it's called gaming cup noodle this is all the rage on sns right now blowing up a fucking snack meal dedicated for gamers ramen lovers worldwide um this is going to be insane so let me give you some backdrop um this information is coming from a uh, sora news 24 let me read what it says here now nissan is catering to both the noodle loving and rice loving members of the gaming community so there are two flavors there is one this is the yakisoba one and there is a curry flavor that's just come out with the gaming cup noodle energy garlic and black pepper yaki soba in the building and the gaming curry meshi energy ginger kima curry flavor so like guys man i've been searching for this for like the last few days found it last night in a very random convenience store as the name suggests these new items are big on energy delivering what nissan calls Oh, sorry, not Nissan. Nissin calls the strongest buff meshi, which means buff meal for gamers. Buff meshi is a phrase coined by Nissin specifically for this product as the word buff in the gaming world refers to the improvement of a gamer's strength in terms of attack, power, defense, resilience, and movement speed within a game. Deep. Just as buff will provide in-game characters with an advantage, so will these new gaming meals with special ingredients to increase the strength and energy levels of gamers in the real world? Well, let's go and find out, guys. The energy garlic and black pepper yakisoba contains mystery meat. <laughs> Seasoned mince pork, shrimp, egg and cabbage. It's kind of like the basic um, cup noodle, the, the red and the white one. Um... Just reading here, and it's said to be characteristic by its addictive taste, which is made by adding garlic and black pepper to a peppery soy sauce base. The curry, uh, Meshi Energy Ginger Kima Curry, features a fragrant and spicy ruax with a hint of ginger and a base made with onions, tomato, and pork. Oh man, this is so exciting! Um, instead of serving up its usual ramen in the New Cup Noodle Nissan has chosen to serve up yakisoba fried noodles, which means there's sauce inside of the broth in the mix. Likewise, the curry is a sauce-based meal. And Nissin says that this is so gamers will have to worry about getting their hands or pretzels dirty, <laughs> making both meals perfect for eating between games. God damn. So I was looking to find the ingredients of what's in here uh there is another page guys if you'll just bear with me for a few seconds i'm trying to find the ingredients it's pretty mad oh yeah here we go guys purely closing at uh, the label of both new products they appear to contain are you ready for this guys caffeine argine and nitine <laughs> i don't know if i pronounced those right we sounded more like ingredients you'd find in energy drinks rather than instead of food so it's like basically like red bull or um, monster energy ramen <laughs> that's basically it guys so what we're going to do i've already been taking some photos for my um, my ramen ig account uh, we're getting ready for uh, tiktok as well so let's just dive into the packaging first man like it's beautiful uh, this is probably one of the best packaging that i've seen from uh nissin i do have two new flavors that they brought out as well the uh, chili tomato and the curry one with more enhanced flavoring well but we'll do that review later guys but be interesting to see i've had i haven't had any breakfast today so <clears throat> i want to see if this will boost my energy um the ingredients look pretty mad it looks like um a scientific periodic table by Einstein on the back. <laughs> Pretty gnarly. Um, but anyway, let's do the review, guys.
shrimpy beefy. That's all I can get from this guy. So basically what I did, I just drained the water out for three minutes. Let it stew up. And uh, look at that. Mm. It's got like this yakisoba sauce. It's um, very soy sauce taste ish. Mm. I can't really, can't really tell if there's these chemicals that they've laced inside here. Mm. It's very salty, I know that. Mm. I wish the sauce would be a bit more of a yakisoba taste. It's more shoyu. Soy sauce based. Mm. The mystery meat could be cat meat, dog meat, camel meat. Mm. Good. It's got a bit of sweet. Is that sweet corn? These tofu bits. Oh, soya. I think that's soya grains. Mm. Very nice, delicious snack. Do I rate this over the other flavors? Like the curry one? I think the curry one for me, cheese curry, curry, um, tom yum, or the chili one. This is like the basic of all the flavors. Mm. That's what's left over, guys. All the shrimp. Freeze-dried shrimps in there. Mm, chewy, fishy, shrimpy, oishi. Mmm, I feel the power already. Mmm. So, what do I think about it? It's all right. It's not the best <laughs> noodle range that I've ever tried. I think if I was to give it a score, I'd give it maybe a three or four out of five. Uh, I definitely think the curry is the ultimate because that's all I eat. I've been eating that for like 14 years in Japan. But I actually want to test this and guinea pig it to see if I can gain energy and maybe do like a maybe a, a, a three, four K walk later today. <laughs> so if you want to get this, guys, I don't know how you're going to purchase this, um, but it's going all over social media right now. And hopefully I can try and review the uh, curry, the curry flavor keema, which is rice, which looks really delicious, actually. So there you go, guys. End of the review. Don't forget to press that like button, subscribe. You know where it's at. Peace. TMD out.